Good morning! <laughs> Hi guys! So today I'm going to do a get ready with me routine slash my morning routine. It actually is the morning right now and I'm actually just waking up in bed. So thus the even raspier voice than normal. My blinds are even so gone. So um, let's get up and I'm going to show you what I actually do in the morning and getting ready. And it's a good day to do that too because I only got like four hours of sleep. So it's a rarity for me. So you'll really get to see what good makeup and hair can do. I guess I don't know let's get ready okay so the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I wash my face so it kind of varies day to day depending on what my skin is feeling like but today I wanted to give it a little bit of a scrub and then I followed with my Derma E hyaluronic acid moisturizer and my proactive eye gel moisturizing that face and then putting on some sunscreen okay so now I'm going to get dressed this is the outfit I went with, come for chic. Okay, so then I don't do my hair when I go to get tea in the morning because I get tea like every single morning. So I just kind of brush my hair, make myself look somewhat acceptable, and then I head out. Okay guys, so my baby and I are gonna go get tea now. This has become our favorite part of the day. And Bowser's gonna stay here. See you with later, Bowsy. have fun with daddy. Okay, so then I drive, rock out in the car, you know, the huge. And Zoe comes with me, yay! This is the tea that I get every morning. I'm absolutely obsessed, and I've been really obsessed with bagels too. It's so bad, but I love them. So once I get home, this is what I do to my hair. Okay, so this is my easy five minute hair. Um, I just like to do loose waves, and the first thing I start with is if my hair looks a little bit greasy, I'll spray a little bit of dry shampoo on it, um, and I will pull out, I believe that is a one and a half inch curling iron. So then I separate my hair in half like that, just over my shoulders, and then I take that half and I separate that in half. Then I twist that hair up, pull it over my head, and just kind of clip it out of the way so I have hair to work with. So then I'm gonna take this pretty big chunk of hair and I'm gonna take the curling iron and curl back. Now, you'll see the reason it doesn't take long is because I curl such big chunks of hair because I'm just going for like a loose wave look. And I start with the top, leaving the whole like bottom half of the hair out because the top for some reason takes a lot longer to curl. And then at the end, I bring the rest of the hair in, so I bring the barrel down, let it sit for a minute, and then I bring the hair out. I also hold the curl for a second to give it a chance to cool, and then I let it down. Then I bring back the other half of the hair that I clipped up, and I split that in half, and then I clip the other half of the hair back up. Brush out the hair, and then this time I'm gonna curl the hair in the opposite direction. So I did my first curl back, and this one I'm gonna do forward. Same thing, I curl the top first, and then I bring the bottom in. Dan made a really funny joke. Thus the laughter. <laughs> Let it cool for a second, and then I take it out. Okay, so then I take the last chunk of hair and I curl that back. So all three curls went in opposite directions and I really focused on the top before I went to the bottom. And like I said, I do big curls because I'm really just going for a loose, wavy effect. So I kind of just let these curls cool um, and then later I'm gonna kind of tossle them and brush through them. But okay, starting with the other side, same thing, curling back, starting at the top and then bringing the bottom in. All the while taking sips of tea in between. <laughs> letting the hair cool, and then bringing down the other half. Yes, I hold my hair in my mouth sometimes. That's so gross, but that's what I honestly do. Okay, so curling the rest of the hair front, dancing by myself and then burning myself, cooling off, and then bringing down this last chunk of hair and curling back. So all in all, I really only curl six pieces of my hair, and you might be saying, ah, oh, I have too much hair for that. I have a lot of hair and this works because from there I kind of let the hair like cool off and then I go through and I find pieces that are still a little straight and I just kind of add a little bit more wave. Usually they're like just the top section of a hair or of my hair, um, not the bottoms. The bottoms hold curl, the bottom of my hair holds curl really well. So going through, finding those pieces that I want to add wave and doing so. Then I'm adding a little bit of hairspray and I'm honestly just gonna let it sit like that while I do my makeup. 
Now this makeup is really easy and really fast, and the first thing I'm starting with is my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I spray it before and after my makeup to keep it in place. Ingrid actually gave me that tip and it really works. Then I am putting on my foundation. I honestly like putting it on with my hands the best. It blends in the best for me when I use my hands. So they're clean obviously, but um, yeah. So for concealer, I'm using my NARS concealer in 00 Alabaster. And I like this concealer. I can use it for everything under my eyes to conceal acne scars, all of that stuff. So I really like it because it's a multi-purpose concealer. And this is like my third tube of this concealer. So I really like it. Moving on to powder. I am using my Bobbi Brown powder. I believe that color is also 00. Um, all of the links for the products will be down below, but I really like that powder. It doesn't oxidize. Then I'm going over with a little bit of bronzer just so I don't have just a one flat color all over my face. And I'm using it on my cheekbones, um, on my forehead, and then I'm moving on to blush. Today I decided to use a bright pink color. It's from Kevin Aquan. Kevin Aquan's blushes are my absolute favorite. They don't splotch on my cheeks because some blushes get really splotchy with my concealer and his doesn't. It sits really evenly and I love it. Moving on to eyebrows. I'm brushing out my eyebrows first and then I'm going to shade them in using colors from my Naked palette. And I know some people don't like using colors with shimmer, but I mix two colors, a matte color and a shimmer color, and it really works for me and I don't think it looks weird. And I'm setting my brows with a clear mascara, and this one is from Maybelline. And I really like doing this step because it just kind of adds polish to the look and completes my brows. For shadow, all I'm using is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I think it adds a lot of dimension and shimmer to the eyes with like the easiest step ever. <laughs> then I'm using my NYC Sky High Mascara in black. I like it, but I wouldn't run out to buy it. And then I'm following it up with a white eyeshadow on the inner corners of my eye and right on my brow bone. And then I'm completing the look with this L'Oreal Hot Pink Lipstick. I love this stuff. It's super balmy. Like I said, I'll have the name of everything listed down below, but I really like it. Okay, so finishing off the hair, we've let the curls sit. We didn't mess with them. That's like really, really important. And now I'm going through and I am brushing through the curls. Because they've had time to cool, you can do that and they won't lose their shape. And then last but not least, I'm pinning back my bangs. I do that a lot, but it's really just a timing thing. Pinning them back leaves my hair nice the whole day. It's really, really fast. And overall, I just like this look because of the speed and I just like the look. Dan's standing there distracting me. <laughs> and then last but not least, I'm finishing off my look with my Sweet Temptation Body Spray from Victoria's Secret. Um, Elle got me into this spray and I really like it. Then I'm putting on my accessories, just some studs and a watch. I wear those pretty much every day. My top is from Target. It's kind of like a baseball top. It's in a minty color. And my jeans are from Forever 21. And my shoes are just white Converse. So these are the accessories I went with up close, just the watch and my chain link Michael Kors bracelet. And that is an Instagram picture of my outfit for the day, yay!